There's no one in it. It's gotta get over the hump. So right now I'm summoning my car. On the app, on the Tesla app, there is this part on it where it says summon and you can bring it. I think the farthest you can be is like 200 feet, but it's far enough away where if I really don't wanna walk the last 200 feet, it'll come to me. And as you can see, there's nobody in the car, but I just brought it right up to me. What's up guys? I'm Terrell Burgess and this is Rams Rides. So actually before this car, I had a Toyota Prius and I've always been pretty fuel efficient. So I decided to stay in the, the fuel efficiency world and uh, just, I guess, an upgraded Prius, you could say, and had to go with the Tesla. Never would I, I don't think I'll ever go back to another gas car, especially with the way gas prices are. I think I'm gonna stick to electric. I love it, my baby. White, I kind of just thought was kind of, it just looked nice. On the interior, you have a choice of being either, it being white or black. And I figured that white would be a little, little dirtier on the inside, so I went with black. The fact that if I'm driving on the freeway, I don't really have to drive, it drives for me, which is probably my favorite thing about the car. I think I figured, you know, everyone used to always talk about, you know, the show like the Jetsons, about how like there'd be flying cars. I think I figured by 2020, we'd have flying cars, but I think I got the closest car to a flying car, which is not too bad. I test drove it a couple years, my, like my senior year in, in college, and I loved it, and I knew that I would get this car eventually. <laughs> I think it represents me in the fact that, like, even last year, like, when everybody saw me pull up a Prius, you know, with the fuel efficiency, everybody was kind of laughing, but I kind of just enjoy the fact that I don't have to pay for gas as much as other people do, so that's, 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 that's the best part, I'd say. So, like, let's say I had, like, had someone in the car, and any part of the car I could put, like, it farting in their direction, <laughs> so, like, I could have it fart in the back seat, either of the back seats, and then either the front seats. There's that option. There's, um, if you wanted to get a little uh, romantic in here, there's a there's an option where you could put on a fireplace, which I'd have, I've never actually used that option. When I go to charge my car, sometimes when I go to like, if I want to just sit in there, there's, there's obviously games on here. There's solitaire, a bunch of random like shooting games on here. And then you can actually watch Netflix, Hulu, there's Disney Plus, YouTube, Twitch. I've never been on Twitch. And then there's like Tesla tutorials on here. Let's say it was at zero and I wanted to go all the way to the top. It probably would take about an hour. Like if I wanted to fill my car up all the way, It'd take about an hour, but it probably would cost maybe at the max $15, which isn't very expensive at all. It's kind of funny because I feel like I, like obviously Tesla's like a decently expensive car depending on which one you get, but I kind of, I, I would say I'm pretty simple, like I'll tell the fact that I have a Tesla, but like I'd say I'm pretty simple, I'm not really like big into a bunch of flashy things, so that's kind of why I got like the base model, I got the standard, because st there's three different types, there's standard, performance, and long range, um, so I got the standard one, and not too like out there. I, guess you say. I, I like it. I don't. I don't know if California had anything to do with it, but I feel like I've always thought about the environment when it comes to the driving. So that's why I had a Prius before this, and now I've got a Tesla.